guys, it's Christine Creatures. Um, I was just putting together a, a quick take apart video for the uh, ZA50 uh, two speed poop motor. Um, anyways, I've already taken the uh, six bolts out and drained the trans oil uh, fluid. Anyways, uh, I didn't really start with uh, using a mallet to uh, loosen this guy up um, and just be really careful of the gasket that uh, goes in there. Um, they're a little bit delicate and uh, kind of necessary for the motor and the shim spec and everything. Um, anyways, so. Speaking of shims, there's usually two on this gear and one on the clutch bell. Go ahead and uh, pop those off. And there's also this uh, plate right here. You go take that off. Um, I'm going to be using the, uh, the Pook uh, factory tools to pull this motor apart. Um, I'll probably be doing a video later showing uh, some of the tricks to uh, pull one apart with, uh, without those. So anyways, this is the uh, Pook plate that uh, holds this gear in position, so we're just going to kind of put that in and then you bolt that down to the case and all that does is it keeps the uh, this gear turning when you are uh, loosening the, uh, the nut. So anyways, there we go with this and we're going to grab a 15 millimeter socket and a breaker bar and I'm going to take this nut off. And this nut is actually reverse threaded so it is uh, right and loosey. Go ahead and pop that off. Um, after the nut pops uh, it's going to spin freely until you take these six, uh, seven rollers out of the unit. Um, I find that a pair of needle nose pliers works the best. Um, and also note the, um, the way these go in against the little metal plates. Um, if you put them in incorrectly, um, the unit will not function uh, as a one-way bearing and uh, well, your bag won't run right. Anyways, so just pulling these guys out. And there we have it. Um, and this should just twist right off. And then we pull that gear off of the motor. Um, go ahead and make sure that there's a, a washer on that. Go ahead and pull that off and put that gear aside. And then we can actually also pull off the, um, the clutch bell. Let's go ahead and inspect the lining for um, any excessive wear or damage. And put that off on the side as well. Uh, next, we come to the uh, the clutch nut and the, there's a poop factory tool for that, it's a little retainer ring that keeps the uh, plate in the clutches in position when you take this nut off and before you do that there is a little tab that um, makes sure the nut doesn't back off and go ahead and get in there with the screwdriver and just kind of tap that plate down um, and it's also a really good indication of seeing if someone has been in this motor before. Um, if someone has been in this clutch um, that nut will look a little damaged and this one did when I pulled this motor apart so someone's been inside and then you're just gonna take that nut off. Um, I already pulled this motor apart earlier so these nuts and everything aren't exactly factory tight. And that's that. We go ahead and pull off that uh, retention washer, and now we can uh, we can pull off the uh, the plates and get to the get to the motor. After I pull this off, we'll just pull the first gear clutch out, and you know, just take a look at the um, the pad material and whatnot. Put that off to the side. There is another um, washer spacer and then the second speed clutch pull that off and then we're going to pull out the uh, second speed drive gear um, this one sometimes you need to uh, wiggle the uh, sprocket on the other side to uh, unmesh the gear teeth and that comes out put that off to the side and then we have the, uh, the starter plate assembly um, the top plate comes off and then there is a washer 
And then there's a circlet that uh, retains the uh, return spring. I'll go ahead and snap that off. And pull the washer that's on top of the spring and pull the spring off. And now the uh, second half of the starter assembly comes off. Kind of have to uh, wiggle it out. Alright, that comes off. And now you have the uh, engagement plate. And before we take that off, I uh, need to use the last of the poop special tools. It's um, a spring remover tool. Um, and in all honesty, you can really just use a pair of pliers. This makes life a lot easier though. There's a little spring that uh, brings this plate back into position after you um, let go of the lever. So, yeah, more or less when you pull the uh, clutch lever, this plate spins out and engages the um, the pressure plates together and uh, you know the rear wheel will turn over the, uh, the motor that way. So what you do is just unscrew the nut from the starter lever assembly and lift up and twist that out. And then what you need to do is just twist that and pop the lever off. I mean pop the cable off and that's that. So that's the uh, the whole transmission uh, on a Pook two-speed motor. Uh, reasonably easy to pull out uh, if you have the right tools, um, and not that much harder if you don't. Um, anyways, the other side is pretty simple. You know, just pull the magneto, and uh, there's five bolts underneath the magneto and stator plate assembly. Three bolts over here, and the case is just split right in half. Um, please be careful of that gasket. It uh. It's a little bit delicate, especially um, up by the crank, because there's a, a locator dial that um, the gasket sometimes binds on, and you could rip it. Uh, those are really hard to find, and pretty critical for uh, rebuilding these motors, uh, getting the, uh, the bearing shims and everything correct. So, anyways, there you have um, the CA50 motor pull apart, and yeah, good luck uh, doing your own.